All right, sorry for the noise. Uh, this is the, uh, it's a bit uh, self-inflating, the winter printer, Mark I. Um, I'm only taking this video to prove to one of my very fussy A-level students that it actually works. Because uh, he doesn't believe it, then when you finish. So uh, this is my own design. I, uh, I 3D printed the 3D bits from my 3D printer on another 3D printer, uh, the one we have at school. Um, but as you can see, I'm now making uh, one of the parts that I designed using my own 3D printer, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, this is just built from um, a kit that you can get on eBay. I didn't... Um, all the frame, aluminium and stuff I designed, welded together at school myself, all the brackets and hardware I designed, um, just the, the electronics basically came from the kit you can get on eBay. So for about 100 quid you get all the stepper motors, uh, the limit switches, the push and the extruder head, the heated, heated build platform, the little display which is quite handy, tells you what's going on. Um, and it all runs off uh, open source stuff. It's all out there on the internet if you just look up. Um, rep rep for 3D printing and there's a massive wiki on it that tells you all sorts of stuff but this is a bit it's building um, yeah I'm pretty happy with it it took a while to get going I'm not gonna lie it took a lot of uh, tweaking and swearing <laughs> to get it printing straight but um, as you can see I've printed a just a column there that proves I can get it vertical which is good not very interesting so anyway now I've uh, printed a 3D printer. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it to be honest. I just wanted one. I thought it was cool. So uh, there we go. If anyone's doing their own build on one, uh, do let me know. I'm always interested to see other people's ideas. I did steal a lot of inspiration off other people when I designed this one. Um, but yeah, there we go.